What's up, brothers and sisters? Your brother G World 7 underscore D. I want to follow up a little bit on the video I posted yesterday showing the image from Scandinavia and Northern Europe. That image that I showed you was of a woodcut carving. And the individual were in the seated like position with a little box or some type of figure between his arms or the lap. I showed you in the vision, you look at the hairline, that was definitely a Negro, all right? That was a Negro with a fro. And I was talking about Fred Williams' movie. The movie I was thinking about was Black Caesars. Thank you for YouTube who mentioned Hell of a Harlem. That was a follow-up to Black Caesars. Black Caesars came out in 73. I think Hell of a Harlem came out in 73 or 74. James Brown did the soundtrack to both of those films. You know, because he, Black Caesar's the one I really liked. A hell of a horror was all right. Black Caesar's the one I really liked when they had, play the cost, be the boss. You're walking down the street and they show him rising up. That was Black Caesar's, you know, with the boss on there. The other one, <clears throat> I think Jim, uh, not Jim uh, James Brown did the soundtrack to initially. <laughs> And he sent it in, and the people told him it wasn't funky enough. <laughs> so they told him to redo it, and then he <clears throat> ended up the movie, the, the, the sound, the, the song, or the album was even bigger than the damn movie. But the first movie, I'm thinking, I held up a Harley, even though that's, that's was part two, The Black Caesars. That's what I'm thinking about, with Fred Williamson before he had the mustache. Had them sidebars, and that's how that figure looked like with that little type of afro. And one of them old make figures I showed you who had that same <clears throat> type of hairstyle, but in the image of like Osiris, where you see the image of um, a human head and a lion's body. That you see that image of the head of Osiris, too, or Egyptian pharaohs. Human head and lion's body <sighs> on some of them statues, which were obviously carved and cut not using no damn copper tools. <laughs> but I, I wanted to highlight that and, and also highlight the images, talk about mounds, how those mounds weren't just built in America, they were built globally. All right, black folks, so-called black people, melanated people built mounds globally, structures globally. We are known to have done that. That was not done by other people. Other people copied off of us and stolen our identities. The people who you see in those northern European countries, they are not the indigenous people today. They're people who came much later, but they had stolen their identity. Like the Vikings, I said, were pirates, raiders, marauders, were Negroes. The original Negroes were originally diminutive, short Negroes. They don't tall in it. You see them wearing a cow horn helmet on their head, man. The original so-called, like I said, Vikings were Negroes and all those other groups with Negroes. Now, I want to truly emphasize is that the importance for us to do this research is to fully understand who we are. The website of realhistoryww.com uh, has been temporarily suspended, you know, because white folks and others and some coon melanated people pushed it to go down. One of the groups it was this, I guess this African group and I ain't say all, but it's, it's, a, it's a few Negroes from this African website who attacked the site, saying it was giving black Europeans credit for everything. And that's only partially true that black, there was such things as black European. The continent of Europe is named after a black woman. And so-called black Americans are African. I know a lot of people don't want to hear this. And I'm being redundant with this. Negroes don't want to hear this, but the so-called African-American is not African. The so-called African-American is descended of the Aboriginal black Indians that were here. The black Europeans from the British Isles, Scotland, Ireland, and some of your black um, people out of Spain, like your Sephardic Jews. Also, some black Asians and a few black... Australians, because you can look at some of the pictures of some of the black people, you can see some Australoid type features. You did have that. You do have that. 
amongst some of our people. So we are a mixture of very different groups of melanated people, which makes us, it does make us unique. Because most of us are not descended on damn African slaves, but that narrative keeps being pushed. And unfortunately, Negroes don't want to admit they're wrong, they've taught a miseducation, because their pride is hurting them. The pride and the arrogance are not going to have them to admit to reevaluate what they've been teaching, what they've been pushing amongst our people. It's their pride is hurting our community because we're not descendants of African slaves. We're not. When you look at us, we look different. When you look at our culture, first of all, we, we, some of us want to give our culture away to Africa, to everything. That's wrong. We, when I start studying history, really study history, I look at those pyramids in Egypt. Man, they're old. But when you look at the structures here in America, so, I said it before in other videos, they're so damn old, man. They've been totally abandoned. And you can tell they have deteriorated. I mentioned now those Omex-style heads in Alberta, Canada. Buddha statues there. Image of the Minoan snake goddess. But it's so old and deteriorated, man, that you will not know that those figures were there. And then even some of the rock structures here, like these national parks, you see, if you really look at it, ancient large heads of elephants, um, different type of animals, human heads. That was carved in rock, but it's deteriorated, but you look at it well, you can see, tell that was a human head. Ancient bridges, um, cross, uh, pat, uh, what do you call it, like, uh, uh, Underwater, where you um, you go under the bridge, uh, walkways, or crossways, ancient crossways. What's here in the main ancient highways? But it has been abandoned and is deteriorated. In some places, where you say have highways and ancient gardens, have been so abandoned for so many years. Now they turn into a forest. But you can't tell this to a lot of black Pan Africans, man. These Negroes are stuck, and we just come from Africa as slaves. That narrative is false. It really is. It's false. But it's unfortunate so many of our people continue to push that narrative, man. That is a tired narrative that came to be regurgitated to us, man. We gotta stop that. We have to stop that. That is a narrative that's been regurgitated to us. We're not descended of African slaves. I repeat, we're not descended of African slaves. That's not us, man. I know it hurts for many Negroes to comprehend this, but we're not. And that's why I always talk about very different black groups, melanated groups globally, because I also want to emphasize how they, all of them, had this technology to sell the seeds. We sell the seeds. You did have Africans coming who was in Africa to come over here to the Americas because you had a lot of those Great Lake regions were drying up so some of them got on boat and migrated to areas with large bodies of water and they knew about the Americas man but the brothers and sisters were coming and selling back and forth and I had to say this man I said this in my other videos man uh, these American structures are older than the African structures I don't, I don't listen to white scholars tell you that, that lie man they're lying to you, man. These, many of these American structures are much older than over in Africa. Much older. Now, you see a lot of people had the, what you call the, in America, the Old West, the, um, the carriage. Man, them Negroes had that thousands of years, man. Or something like a carriage where they ride on, a chariot. They ride on, man, and ride on paved streets, man. Paved roads that our ancestors made out of concrete, dude. Some of them painted in gold. But we can't fathom it because we believe they were just primitive people and it was a white man who brought them to civilization. <laughs> That's sick, man. That's sick. But unfortunately, there's some of us who think that way. But that was a good book I showed you. There's some other stuff in there that is good. I mean, obviously, they're going to try to show you fake ass white pictures, man. Try to, or claim that white people are indigenous to certain areas, which they're not. But you get valuable information in all these books. Mound building was done globally. And 
Remember when I read, it wasn't just there to bury some king, some ruler. They did many different ceremony practices. And I'm talking about many miles or different structures that were done here in the Americas, which was used to live in. And then during, they had furnaces up inside there, where it kept them warm at a certain time of year. But many would travel south. So they use the Mississippi, the Colorado, the Missouri, the very different river streams, Ohio, to travel in and about. This is old news, man, but you have to have an open mind when you study this. You got to stop thinking you're a descendant of African slaves. That is a lie. That's what these white folks want you to think of yourself. As a foreigner, you came over here as a damn uh, exiled immigrant. That's a lie. Stop allowing others to teach you your history because your history has been hijacked by white people and Pella Mongolian people. It's been hijacked. And some Negroes have gone along with it. If you see darker skinned people all over the world, in the Pacific Islands, in Australia, in India, all through so-called Africa, what makes you think it wasn't here in America? So what makes you think they all died out? Start using common sense, man. I'm hearing Negroes, I have my Gullah Geechee heritage comes from Africa. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Those people are Aboriginal here. And yes, they took on some uh, runaway, what you call slaves or escaped slaves, who mixed in with the Aboriginal black Indian population. But those people are not no damn Africans, man. <laughs> They're not Africans. They're, they took, when I said this in my early videos, took a lot of Negroes here. I don't know, I don't remember the exact number, 2,500, 3,000, whatever, to Europe. They took Negroes there to Europe. They took Negroes there to Europe. The original so-called blacks who were slaves were the black people here, or prisoners of war, and obviously the Negroes in Europe who lost their power, who was exiled to here. Many of them made stops to so-called West Africa and came here, and they mixed in with the black people here. So you had a black Scottish person mixing in with a black Indian. But you allow white people to reclassify you, or they have reclassified us, and given other people our identity. And yet you still get people like Al Sharpton and Sloppy Messy Jesse telling that you African American. Or Umar Johnson. Or the Amon Ra squad. You're not Africans, man. And there's no attack on Africans like that. You know, you, you have some coons there. But to be honest with you, we are the Aboriginal people of the Americas. This is our land, man. I don't know why people don't see this and you study it. You listen to white folks who tell you, who told you that you're slaves from Africa. That is inaccurate information. I'm being redundant on this. That is inaccurate information. I keep telling you to study your history fully. Once you understand that, you start realizing, hey, man, this slave, this slave story don't, don't make no sense. The Gory Island story doesn't make no sense. That little slave ship <laughs> that supposedly came in Alabama doesn't make no sense. Tuscaloosa was named after a Negro, a Negro king, a Negro ruler. Tuscaloosa, Alabama. That's why them damn Alabama Christian tied that spirit. Them winning all them national championships. I think they won the most national championships in college football. The Crimson Tide of Alabama and Tuscaloosa, Alabama, named after that black king. Alabama full of niggas. Part of my family's from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. <laughs> Woo -wee. So I'm just dropping them jewels. <laughs> but I'm telling you, man, our history is right in front of our face, man. We don't have to go thousands of miles and believe we came over here in a Gilligan Island boat ride or love boat ride cruise. <laughs> 
we were already here. And if you Negroes who don't want to hear that and want to still believe that you just come over here as African slaves and you want to hate on us for telling you this, no, we're not the ones who hate ourselves. You are. Because you're afraid to learn your true history. You're also afraid to understand that many of the bad people in history look like you. So, brothers and sisters, I want you to continue to just continue to seek and get that knowledge. Get that love of self. Learn your true self. Alright? You hear Umar Johnson. I, I'm not nowhere. I'm not a pretendian. I'm a center African slave. <laughs> man, I can't believe Negroes still listen to that clown, man. <laughs> His information so wrong. He just needs to start a school, man. <laughs> I mean, if you ain't even send your kids to that school. But uh all right, brother, sister, man. Oh, this is your brother, G. Where? Over. Ouch.